Okay, I'm... I'm using this beast of a camera, which is a Toyo View 810M which is nearly 7 kilograms of camera and let me tell you it is a beautiful piece of work um, there we go now um, the 210mm lens is the equivalent of about a 32mm which is moderately wide um, the challenge with 8x10 is that the challenge with 8x10 is that um, this is my level up, I'm just going to level the phone up, the uh, camera up I should say the problem with 8x10 is that uh, lenses become expensive, there we go, that's actually level, look at that can you see that? How's that? Because I leveled the uh, tripod at the top at the start, yep. So I bought this expensive leveling head and it turns out that I'm, I'm, I'm not using it. How cool is that? Anyways, let's go. Um, let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, yeah. Let me focus up on this. Might be about right now. Now I'm not sure what's in there. So what's my problem? My problem is uh, these trees here are too close. So I'm gonna have to pan across to get them out. I mean, how easy is that, right? You've got a problem, you just, you just move it out of the picture. Okay, what have I got now? I've now got... Uh, let me see what I've got. If you haven't worked out one of the challenge one of the challenges with uh, large format is composing on the view screen and working out where everything is. So let's see if I've got this in the picture. Let's see if I've got this in the picture. I would say not. No. No, the closest one I've got in the picture is this one here. Right. And that won't fit, that's okay. So this one's the closest one I've got in the picture. But I've got that in the picture too, so it's going to have to do. Ah, while I'm here I'll take a lot meter reading. So I'm going to take a meter reading in this you see up there the sun's behind those leaves there actually I'll take a meter reading here in this dark area yep and exposure meter reading says I am half second f32 uh, this one to be black so I need to reduce exposure by two stops so that's quarter second, eight second F32. One eighth F32. Fifteenth F45. Ooh. I, last shot I did it was, um, what I say? Half second at F45. So that's wrong. I want to I want to underexpose. So that's a quarter F45, eight fifteenth. Whoa, it's a lot less light, isn't it? Wow. 
What if I just look? If I just made it here, make sure my ASA is right. Quarter of 45. Want to make it one stop less. 8 to 45. Yeah, shall we give that a go? Yeah. I don't know whether to leave these, me being confused and not knowing what to do parts in. Um, I've got three shots. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. I can do three exposures in a processing batch. I've already taken one, I've got two. Why don't I take, why don't I bracket this particular image? I'm using a 45 because I need lots of depth of field. Let me get my focus. Right. Let me show you what I ended up composing. There we go. I moved those trees right out. Remember the trees here? I turned it around and I moved them out of the picture. Okay. Um, I might get a bit of the foreground out. I might put a bit, little bit of rise on and get the foreground out of the picture. There we go, that'll make it a bit easier for me. Okay, I need my choo choo. I need my choo choo. How much rise did I put on? I put on about 15 mil of rise. That might be a bit much. I'll just make it 10. I think I've got about 12, 12 or 15. Okay, I'm gonna, no matter what happens, I'm exposing an F45. Take, take my meter reading again. There's a bit of rubbish here because there's a storm water not too far from here. And we've got half second of 32, quarter second of 45, eighth of a second of 45. Let's do this one. This is where my tripod now. Before we do this, we tighten everything up. Or oh no, just adjusted the just adjusted the focus. Oh, I didn't focus anyway, did I? Yeah. Where am I going to focus? I'm probably going to. I'm not. I don't have any tilt tilt swings on this, so I'm probably going to focus about. See that rock there? Probably focus on that rock there. And I'll close the lens. There we go. Rock there, where's the rock there? everything else is tightened up good I ended up focusing on that tree that's uh, leaning over where the little branch is so just oh yeah just a little bit closer than that rock there um, stop down there 45 really hard to see but since you I assume you like all this stuff uh, somewhere around there was where I focused but nearly everything should be sharp but yeah it's dark if you're thinking gee that's dark yeah it is okay
wear that tripod. You wear that tripod basket would be really handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me get put my hat on. Now, um, good. The tire view ten eight has a what's called a bail back, which opens the back up for you uh, to make it easier to slip in. What I find is sometimes when I take the film out from the last shot, I leave it open, and then when I go to, and then when I go to focus, I wonder why it's all sort of wacky. So check that bail back. Now I've got one shoe here. See okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to get one. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to get a whole. I'm going to do everything in a new film holder. So that, so that the two similar shots are in the same holder. Why don't I do that? Now all this is Shanghai GP3 100. Yeah. The last shot I took, the light changed a couple of times. Now we're in Australia, so we try not to put anything on the ground because spiders and ants okay film goes in I see some people newer people with fun they whack the holders in and they wrench the holders out uh, that's a great way of breaking something and knocking everything out of alignment there we go so do a test fire I've got this is hard to see I need a little step ladder one eighth of a second F45 and my meter said one eighth of a second F45 so, so let's go No, I'm not going to leave that there. I'm not going to risk dangling anything. Okay. Make sure that's quite. Now, each uh, shooter films about... I'm trying to work it out. I think it's about $8 or $10 a shoot. So you kind of don't want to muck it up. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except with a different exposure. The question is, which way are we going to expose? Okay, let's do what I did last time. Last time, for the other shot, I I actually went into the sun and I exposed for the highlights. Oh, did I do it the wrong way? Oh, look. I don't know. What if I just... Take a meter reading here. What does it say? 145 quarter. I'm just going to do 145 a quarter. So it's only one stop difference. But let's have a look. Okay. This is how you learn, right? So... That was the wrong way. No, I was right. F45. Quarter. Okay. I assume I turned it. I actually forget turning the film holder around in that naughty me. Okay, that's it. It's my three shots. I'm going to go home, and process them, and sometime between now and next time you see me, 
I'll edit the video. Um, oh, I meant to say, by the way, um, I'm I'm here at the same spot that I made the last video I put up, or one of the last videos up, uh, using that old wooden five by seven camera with the with the one eighty mm lens. It's been my most popular video that I've made probably ever. Um, certainly about photography, um, which is. Which is a bit embarrassing because you'll notice that I'm dressed like a slob. What had happened was I just washed my car and I just took it out for a drive and I had the camera gear in the back so I thought oh, I might just go photographing and then I ended up making that movie. So I was in my I'm washing the car clothes clothes. Which is which is why you know old shirt and ripped jeans and everything. Um, that, ooh, that was scary wasn't it? I didn't close the bar back. Yeah so um, I dressed up a little bit better today. Oh, see, you've, you never know what people like. Maybe they want to see me dressed down rather than dress up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. I've titled this video, Getting Correct Exposure is Hard, because um, I didn't do a very good job with it today. I mentioned uh, a couple of times in the video that... Um, I'd already made an exposure today, and this was it. Um, this turned out to be the best exposed image that I made all day. Um, there's good detail here. There's good detail here. <coughs> but you can see this. these uh, tree branches here. They are completely clear. So th we could call that pretty much underexposed by maybe a stop or even more. Uh, for that I used half a second at f45. Remember those numbers. This is the scene that I took with you. Well, that'll make more sense when you see it that way. Now, this was a quarter of a second or um, at f 45 so it's even less exposed and it looks like it there's very 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 little uh, shadow detail at all this was one eighth at f45 and you can see it is it is very terribly exposed so uh, I'm gonna have to do something about my uh, exposure technique probably use stop spot meter um, for those areas if it's in broad daylight I'm not having a problem the ambient medium reading is doing very well it's the very mixed light that I'm having difficulty with so um, stay tuned of course I'll be doing some more videos on on uh, getting this right mm -hmm.